What's going on, creators? You guys just want to get on here and uh, bring everybody back to now. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here and uh, vibing with me for a bit. Yeah, today I'd like to continue the conversation on mental diets and hopefully add something positive to uh, your mental diet for today. You know, it's uh, it's easy to get carried away with like narratives and you know, some of the fears of the world. You know, drifting into the old kind of mindsets of that, and and it's it's one of those things that through practice, being able to see, oh, okay, you know, I'm starting to drift into anger. I'm starting to want to lash out and and uh, just destroy things or just attack things. And it's like, do I really want to spend the present moment, for one, telling myself these stories, for two, just feeling like shit. You know, when ultimately you can choose to. To, to think about things differently, to experience reality differently, just just by asking, just by pausing, just give yourself that mental break to be like, you know what, I'm not I'm not these thoughts. It feels like it, you know, because you're just really amped up. But you know, a lot of that's just something to start to work on letting go of those things, and not to sit there and um, like judge yourself like you're oh I'm a piece of shit for feeling these these ways. Um, you know, every every you feel the way you do for a reason, and a part of the reason is you're still learning how how these emotions and shit work. You know, and so uh, to sit there and like judge yourself as bad. You know, God gives you these feelings, and you really stop and um, thinking that there's all these separate things going on. You know, there's really only one thing ever going on, and that's God's will manifesting. You know, and the more that you're able to connect with that and in, in like the oneness and the connectivity of all things, the easier and easier it is to just eh, let it go. You know, let let that shit go. You know, it's like you don't have to keep battling. You know, it's like why? What am I battling against? There is, there's only, there's only oneness. There's only God in this in this creation and God's will going on. You know, it's like you know, and that might I might be like stammering through what I'm trying to say. You know, so don't just sit there and be like, well, Mike just said something. You know, get the gist of what I'm saying. You know, don't be a fucking lawyer. It's like. Oh, you know, you, you know, that's one of my little pet peeves is like, oh, you said one word out of like whatever out of context. And now let's sit here like a lawyer and like get over it, <laughs> you know, get, get, get something on with your life. That's a little bit less of a nitpicky bullshit, because as you nitpick others, you know, you're just doing it to yourself. You know, part of like the connectedness is like, we're seeing like a mirror, you know, and, and the things that are very annoying and triggering about others, you know, is, is stuff within us also. And so the, the faster we get at like extending forgiveness towards others, the, the better that we're we're kind of vibing in the present moment because you can feel that energy exchange like instantly as and, and it's like crazy you know like wanting to hold on to like vengeance thoughts and like oh, i want to attack that person i want to kill that person i just hope that person just disappears out of like my reality these kind of things and and you can kind of just feel how that just starts to tense you up and like make you start inwardly kind of feeling like shit. And it's like, as soon as you forgive the person, the situation, whatever, and just like drop it, stop, you know, attacking that person in your mind, having these mental stories and narratives, you know, it gets so fucking old, you know, really, you know, the, the mental stories. And it's like the faster that you're able to catch them, the, the sooner you can start saying, hey, why am I creating that story? Why am I creating now? You know, really you know, take ownership of your thoughts, you know, creating um, your your life situation because God's mirroring who you believe yourself to be, like your, your spirit man, your inner self, your consciousness, your conscious of being is constantly just that fast, you know, just like walking in front of a mirror, you know, and like we get, we get these mental stories that are corresponding to a state. And most of the, those states that are negative are drifting back into the old man where we believe that we're separate from God and separate from the person. And there's all these separate wills. And there's like the, the will of our body is, is, is separate from the will of our mind. And like the will of God is separate from our mind. And, you know, it's like, there's all these like, Oh, and then the will of somebody else, you know, is this and, it's like there's only there's only one will that matters and it's God's will and it's always working perfectly. You know, and so part of the old mind is to sit there and judge it like we know, you know, even though most of the time we're telling ourselves uh, fantasies and stories that are dis disempowering and not real or true in any sense of, of the word and you know, ultimately um, are states of fear. You know, it's 
um, it's easier and easier to connect uh, with the idea that you're not fear by facing the fear, realizing that fear is faith, is faith in evil, you know, and, and ultimately looking at even that, because, you know, like the Bible will describe it as like we're to fear God, which is like triggering for some people, but it's like you already fear God, you know, and when you realize that, you can start bringing your worries and your concerns to God to help you relieve these these kind of issues. You know what I mean by that is like, do you really believe that God just wants to sit there and torment you all the time, like you're not good enough? Even though you know, and then this is this is stuff that you have to start catching in your own self. And these are stories you tell your own self. You know, scarcity is is a is a big spell. You know, you can look at those stories as spells. It might make it easier to kind of let them go if you realize that uh, they're not helpful they're harmful and it's almost like a type of black magic you know and then you can label it like that you know it, it just is a different way maybe less of a, a story that you have behind a thing and what i mean by a story behind a thing is like if you say um if you have like a, a they to wrestle against you start strengthening the they because you're building it up as this um, this big ordeal, you know, it's like an, another story that you're telling yourself. When you can tell yourself the exact um, opposite story, you know, and what you what is beneficial is to align the story you're telling yourself with the story that God's given you already in the Bible, you know, and, and looking at the Bible as a way to cleanse and break a lot of spells um, is very is very helpful because they do do that because. Um, as you're reading, you know, God doesn't hold any punches back, you know, so it's like if you're maybe in a state of, um, I don't know, you know, any of these states where you feel like attacked, but like when you read the Bible, it's like, oh, I feel like God's attacking me, you know, for one, that's not who you are, but that's part of a false identity that you've created for yourself. Everything boils back to, to your identity, who you believe yourself to be. You know, and the problem with like the old man is like your belief about your identity is founded on an error, you know, an error in um, that gets corrected. I mean, it's like um, you don't have to like reinvent the wheel or anything, but you start to realize that through practice that it's all about your identity. And as soon as you make the change in your identity, you know, in God's timing, then you start to see that change reflect out into reality in your in your situations and your in your perceptions and your attitudes. Um, you know, I, I hear like a lot of people, um, maybe Buddhist people, I mean, is like the the root of all the uh, root of all suffering is desire. You know, and but even the desire to not have desires is still a desire. <laughs> you know, but like um. Part of the thing that's helpful to realize is um, in the law of assumption, which is, you know, ask, believe, receive. You know, this is, you know, part of like the teachings of Jesus, you know, where it's like whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you've received it and it's yours. And there's so many verses that go, you know, that repeat that same message that talk about that in different detail. You know, but like, um, you know, part of like uh, part of that is like um, the old man doesn't believe that it deserves anything. You know, it almost feels like it deserves to be um, beaten and suffer and 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 to be uh, punished because it's evil. You know, and all, and all these other stories. You know, but it doesn't. You know, necessarily feel like it deserves anything. It doesn't. You know, it doesn't feel blessed. It feels cursed. You know, it feels like it deserves to be cursed because it feels guilty. You know, and so then it wants to be punished because it. You know, the the feelings of guilt that aren't. It founded on anything other than that, just those beliefs that you can start to let go of those beliefs and start to renew your mind with true beliefs, you know, if maybe is a, maybe a, a different way to describe that. And those true beliefs are found um, in the Bible. You know, Jesus has, you know, told you, you know, many of these things, you know, it's, it's laid out very clearly um, in, in areas, but you know, a lot of that has to do with you getting into the, the, uh, this, the, the Bible for yourself and trusting the Holy spirit to teach you these things, which the Holy spirit is within you, you know? And so, yeah, you can listen to, Hey, there's these like little experts or whatever out here, but ultimately the real expert is within you. And so, so, so don't get carried away with that, the outside, because what starts to happen is as you go on this, uh, progression, different people be drawn to you and, um, you'll start to see all of all of these things out here are just personalities, you know, with their own distortions and biases, including me, you know, I have my own lenses and distortions, you know, I tried to, it seems like the more that you're able to let go of fear, which again, is kind of like faith in 
I would say not faith in it's like faith in like worst case scenario happening, like that God's gonna curse you or allow Satan to fuck with you. You know, it's like it's basically what fear kind of is. It's like a belief like that that God has um like vengeance towards you and you know, wants you to suffer and to be sick and to be poor and um to die and, and, and all of these kinds of things. You know, and, and when you start to realize that everything is embodying states of consciousness and you can't occupy two states at the same time. You know, Jesus would describe that as like, you know, those who are not with me or against me. You know, and 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 you can't be a little bit pregnant. You can't be scarce and an abundant. You know, you're you're one or the other. You know, and the the more that you let go of like the the resistance that holds you in scarcity, you know, the more you just naturally start to feel abundant. But you also start to, you know, have these narratives of why you t- believe scarcity is real. And why God, uh, you know, w- once you realize God's the giver, you know, God gives you, God's your provider, God's your healer, you know, all of these, these, these things or attributes that God is already giving you. It's like, think of God as like the sun, always shining, you know, but you can create these illusions of scarcity that, that close the curtain, you know, so it's like the sun's always shining. So, you know, God's love, you know, creation is always operating perfectly, but you know, you know, you can spin out downwardly in like kind of states of hell and separation, or you can spin upwards in states of more bliss, joy, you know, and the fruits of the spirit. You know, based on kind of what's going on in the present moment. And so, um, you know, with when it, desires and the stories we tell ourselves about, you know, if I only had this external situation out out here, then I can feel a certain way. You, you're you're always ro- ro- uh, operating backwards. You know, it's like you, you start to embody uh, abundance, prosperity, health. You know, joy. Just even just peace. You maybe peace is maybe like the least triggering because I feel like peace is when you're really standing in the observer role in your own self, where it's like you're you know you're not your thoughts. You're really present, and and you're not you know, triggered in these emotions, like you're able to like, oh, I'm having emotion, you know, it's coming, it's going, oh, I had a thought, it came and went, but I mean, you're not like sitting there fighting against it, it's just that you're able to just kind of just be in this really still space, you know, and, and then kind of choose to, oh, you know, wouldn't it be nice, to, you know, if I had maybe more freedom, I was like, well, what does that mean, what does that feel like, you know, it's like, and, and kind of mentally put yourself in that state of just freedom, you know, what does it feel like to, to, to be totally free? I feel like that is existing without fear, you know, not having any type of fear and operating only in love, you know, but you have to kind of make these decisions and these, these kind of things for yourself, but you do that through practice, you know, that's, that's a big part of it, you know, it's like, you, there's like, um, really only the present moment. So when you get the desire, Real, you know, part of like the law of attraction is like trying to control the bridges of incidents. So it's like, oh well, you know, I want this to happen so that this happens and then this happens. But it's like, well, what you really are trying to achieve is an emotion, is a state of being that your soul is after that experience. If you trust that God will bring uh, whatever to fruition, you embody the state, and then God will mirror it back to you as you're being it. You know, so it's like you don't. You know, sitting in desire and want means that you don't believe that you, um, you know, it doesn't it means that you're, you're pushing away one of God's promises, you know. And so the more that you just take those on faith, believe them, and, you know, take your fear to to God and ask, you know, why am I afraid of this? Why am I shutting the curtain? You know, it's like, it's like okay, I'm already blessed. You've already given everything. It's already like that. And it's like... It's like you don't have to beg and plead to be healed. You need to realize that you're in God's eyes, you are already healed, and it's you. And and this might be hard to hear. It's like Mike, I have cancer, and you're saying this, and it's like I feel very triggered and annoyed, and you know I feel like fuck you. You know how how dare you? And it's like if you're that triggered, you've made cancer part of your identity, and because that's part of your identity, you're not only you're not only are you strengthening it with your belief in it and 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 may, that's who I am I'm a I'm a this you know you're 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 keeping it more and more so as your experience I mean this is coming from somebody who deals with chronic pain you know it's like you know just, just recently it was having difficulty like getting you know standing up if you know feel like uh had to like pop my hips back in their socket and it's like um 
yeah, having pain so severe is you know, almost lose consciousness, you know, because it's just so intense. And, you know, see, and putting these body practice, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do with your body. This is what I'm doing with mine, you know, is, you know, as part of that is like a narrative I'm telling my, I, 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 I see how I'm doing it, you know, and I see how, how, how it's these thoughts are having an impact on a negative impact spiraling out and, and actually making the pain worse, you know, and as I, uh, you start to realize it's like, I'm already healed, you know, it's like, there is a definite improvement, you know, and, and it's like, I can, and this has been going on for decades, you know, so there's a lot of like stories and narratives to unpack, although, you know, not to make it sound difficult, you know, it, it it's all happening now, you know, so it's like, when is the healing going to happen? It's like, when you realize that you're already healed, <laughs> you know, so it's like, it is not coming tomorrow. It's a, the miracles already happen. You know, it's already done. And it's like, um, you, you walk by faith and it's like, the more that you believe it's already done, then it'll start to be mirrored back to you. You know, so you got to stand in kind of a space of um, disregarding the appearance of things, you know, and letting go of these past beliefs and assumptions. You know, it's like, well, the past says that that's not real and that will never happen. And it's like, well, the past, you know, just look at how many things from the past have already turned out to be untrue. And, you know, when, you know, once you've realized that everything that you've been taught in school by your parents, and, and not to say everybody was in on it, you know, it's like, there's like their fault, um, but, you know, it's just the unconsciousness of humans, you know, that, that have kind of, you know, created all of these, you know, oh, you, you, you live in a material world that you, you know, something came from nothing that exploded, you know, some pond scum, you came from like a monkey and now you can talk and, and then you die, you know, this is, and you're just a tiny little speck and the, the, the continuum of time that's not real, you know, it's like once you realize that time is actually an illusion, things become a lot more easier to embody those states now, especially when you practice it. You know, I, I've gotten a lot of practice with it through doing music, you know, and, and so it's like for, for people that have not maybe repetitively done things over and over again that are difficult and strenuous and like challenging, you know, it's like, you know, flow comes from uh, finding that inner vision and being able to execute it and have that mirrored back to you the same. It's like, it sounds exactly the way I imagined it. And it's like, the better you get at like a particular instrument, the, the more you can make that a reality, you know, but then that is transferable to everything, you know? So it's like all of these life things that are going on, you know, that's, you know, maybe your relationships are up here, your money games down here, your health is way up here. Um, your whatever, you know, everybody's has got different sets of skills, you know, but if you realize that what you're good at versus where you're you're having issues at. Look at the stories that you're telling yourself about the things you're good at. Are you are is there any story that you're telling yourself, or are you just in flow and able to do it because you just have that knowingness? And I think a lot of it is just getting to that state of knowing, you know, where it's like, yeah, you you might be confronted with the opposite, you might be confronted with your resistance, but the more that you realize that that's not real, that that's not really a problem, you know, that's a that's a that's an illusion that you've created. You shut the curtain that there's actually no substance to it. And on the other side of that illusion is the state that you're desiring to experience. The more that you do that, that rep that repetition, the more that you, that you see how, how that is, how things are, you know, it's just like you face the fear and what you actually want. It, it, and it's so much of it is this consciousness playing out, you know, these stories and these narratives, you know, because I like being married, I, I get to see, and anybody that's been in a long-term relationship, you know, you get your life experience, then you get your partner's life experience. And like, like with me and my wife, we, we got two totally different you know, brought up totally differently, you know, or it's like one is like really there's just the rules and this is the way things are and this is this and that and then, then it's like oh well then over here it's like oh you didn't have any of that you know and which is better which is worse and it's like neither i mean they, they both had bullshit things they had some positive things you know it's like it's like a mixture but then but the stuff that's not um yeah, I mean, the stuff that's not applicable, that is this obvious, like, like if your parents were, like, just overtly racist or something like that, where it's just like, you know, you could tell yourself those same stories, doesn't mean that that's 
real, you know, and it has to do with everything, you know, everything is these stories, you know, and, and you can just as easily start telling yourself, um, the stories that God told you that are real, you know, and as you do that, and as you believe that, you know, as you realize things work more quantumly, that all things are possible, you know, the, the old mind has this little tiny box that, you know, that, that, that thinks it knows what, what's possible, you know, with God, all things are possible. And so realizing that more and more so that, you know, nothing is impossible for you to experience or do or to have as you, long as you realize that God's the one that gives it to you. And I feel like that's a big part of like the new covenant when it talks about anything not of faith is sin. You know, so it's like if you believe that God gives you any of these things and if you are, you know, not having a mental conflict, you know, something in consciousness that's telling you, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a resistance here, there's something going on. Yeah, you know, as you start to realize more and more, so oh, God is my provider. You know, not man. You know, my job doesn't provide for me. I, 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 I fell for that trick once. <laughs> you know, but like, uh, yeah, the more that you realize that, and I'm, I'm telling you, as somebody who has their own business, who has been um, self-employed and like a entrepreneur for a long time now, yeah, you know, it's like. God provides. I mean, it's like you move in that direction and the customers line up, the, everything co- lines up perfectly as your state of mind lines up. You know, as you let go of the fears, as you worry about the what ifs and what if happens if this happens and all these plots and schemes, like take yourself out of it and trust that God's already done it. And then when the situation arises, to just do your best every time. It's like a business really is successful daily you know it's like like with like my kind of business doing handyman jobs you know it's like it's easy where it's like uh to to see it's like oh this is the job we're doing right now let's successfully do that job you know maybe maybe in other lines of work it's a little bit more cloudy or a little bit more fuzzy you know but it's like okay you know it i'm not worried about my five-year plan you know i'm worried about getting this job done that the person's happy that it you know ex- exceeds expectations and it's uh manifesting their vision you know it's like they got a vision of how they want their house to look you know like the job i'm doing now it's like um right now we're finishing up an interior painting thing on the whole house and uh you know the colors are really creative and like the person you know the homeowner is very creative and so it's like you know i wanted to you know, me, me and my guy is to be able to manifest that vision that that person has inwardly of like, I want this living room to look like this and this and this and to exceed that expectation, that imagining, you know. And so it's like, um, you know, trying to, you know, kind of create that kind of value for others in the right now, in the present moment, you know, not getting lost in, oh, what, what's going to happen with the um, the supply chains? The supply chains is like, it's shop shop American made, and you know you don't got to worry about that shit. You know it's like shop local. You know, figure it out locally. I mean, there's not you know really, yeah. And this is coming from just my own kind of projections and dramas. It's like, you know, there there's so much going on just locally that we can kind of do to flourish and really break a lot of these kind of spells. You know that, oh, uh, you know what, what's what's going on. 5,000 miles away from here. It's like, who gives a shit? (laughs) That's their problem. You know, it's like, that's not selfish to say that. You know, it's like, everybody's unique. Everybody's where they're at because God put them there for some reason. And, you know, the governments are reflective of the consciousness of that area, like it or not. You know, uh, and that's that's for the people to deal with that, you know, in that area. It's like, in my area, that kind of woke mentality a woke mentality and it's just like it's not flying whatsoever around here you know they we had some of this bullshit drama with the school um yeah you know with, with uh you know some of these oh let, let's create some of the the woke shit in the school and that, yeah that didn't fly at all the, the whole community got together or started to, um yeah saying no you know that's not going to happen you know and yeah it didn't happen you know and like um you know it, it's it's just, it, I don't know. You have to be the change, though, with these types of things. And and ultimately, trust that everything's working out perfectly anyway. You don't got to worry about, you know, these things. You know, really trusting in, in God's will for what's happening. And, and realize there's not all these little separate wills, you know. And it's not, it's not just little old you able to unconsciously break God's will whenever you want. 
that's a real um, old man belief that you that you're even capable of that <laughs> that you're capable of having a thought that God didn't on some level you know, inspire you to have you know and maybe in like the illusion and the, the unconscious state you're in a kind of who knows it seems like the older you get in the uh, in the uh, old state the more of an automaton you become like an NPC just you know you know what they say on the news. Trust the science. <laughs> yeah, you know, just these little. You know, support the troops. You know, just. You know, you know, we can we continue on. There's all these little bullshit propaganda catchphrases and shit, and not to sit there and like, you know, battle against those even. I mean, just the 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 most power you have is to remove your attention from that. You know, it's you know sitting there and trying to like battle against it and rage against it and stuff only strengthens it you know what you resist persists and um you know what you look at kind of starts to disappear you know but you know but when you start looking at you know without the stories and the narratives and being able to maybe look at like don lemon and anderson or anderson cooper maybe they're all cnn and then like tucker carlson and i don't i don't know anybody else on i uh, the cable news, but you know, being able to look at all, both the, all three of those people as just people, you know, not having like hatred towards anybody, and just be able to like want to see them blessed and happy and prospering, you know, that that's that's the real kind of like change, you know, being able to, and, and it's crazy how you can just feel that energy when you are not attacking and having vengeance towards others, and you and you genuinely wish them well you know and not to sit there and like hopefully you know hopefully they you know get some prison sentence and just go go to the uh, whatever you know it's, you know letting a lot of that go realizing that these these people and are just people but then there's the narrative that you have about these people then too you don't know these people you know it's like even 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 if you did know I, I doubt you actually know them. You know, it's like maybe maybe their wife, their spouse, husband, whoever, you know, maybe knows them. But most most interactions, we you, you don't really know people that well. We acquaintances, you know, <sighs> that kind of stuff. But you know, other than that, I think I'm about. You know, I kind of been rambling here for a minute. You know, really happy to um, continue to get uh, stuff moved to Bitshoe. Um, I, I, you know, for if you're listening to this on YouTube, you know. I, Try to remember to put my BitChute. It's it's the same channel name uh, on BitChute as it is on YouTube, and so hopefully continue to bring uh, more content from YouTube to BitChute, and uh, we'll we'll see how that plays out. You know, uh, yeah, it seems um, yeah, it seems like it's going well so far. You know, I, I don't really have too many complaints with BitChute. It seems like it. You know, you upload. I think their audio quality is better. Uh, than YouTube. Uh, I've noticed that as I upload uh, music and stuff over on BitChute and, and listen to it on playback uh, and and listen to YouTube versus BitChute's audio, I think I think BitChute's is superior. And so, um, yeah, that, that's kind of exciting for like listening to music and stuff. And so, you know, try to, I'm trying to maybe, uh, you know, put out another track today. I haven't recorded any any guitar tracks it feels like for a, a minute but like uh you know with it being a couple days or a couple weeks or week till like halloween this time of year just nostalgic you know for me for like uh misfits uh me, me and a buddy of mine when i was like teenage years we used to every halloween like drive around in cornfields get uh kind of fucked up and i uh, and just listen to misfits and like um yeah so like this time of year it kind of reminds me of that and so i'd like to maybe you know do like a, a misfits cover and uh, it might not be for everybody you know but like uh, it's like i don't really i don't really care if that's for every I mean, it's kind of just something i want to do i can maybe share it with them you know, it's just for the nostalgia of it but you know if you're kind of a fan of like punk music and stuff you might like it uh, if not you know it is what it is and so um other than that um yeah i appreciate you guys liking sharing subscribing um all the social networking things also appreciate your um spiritual support and your financial support you know thank you for that um yeah other than that i think uh, i think i'm gonna bounce and so till the next now everybody have a, have a good rest of your whatevers and god bless